one of the questions that I get quite frequently with my friends, family, and now even on YouTube is whether you could use an LCD TV as a computer monitor. So the answer to that is yes, you can use a regular LCD TV as a computer monitor. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to set up a system like this. And I'm also going to show you how the experience is like. So the TV I'm using is a Sony Bravia CX42. You can see the model number over there. It's a full high definition TV. So you get the 1080p resolution. And guys, this TV is more than six years old. I bought this TV way back in 2011. I think it was March 2011. And this is not a smart TV. And this one has CCFL backlighting. So these days, if you buy an LCD TV, it comes with LED backlight. But this one comes with a CCFL, which stands for Cord Cathode Fluoro Tubes. Performance wise, this TV is a beast. There is absolutely no input lag. The color reproduction is perfect. Even after six years of use, the backlight is still bright as it was new. And if I bring my camera close, you guys can see the uh, sharpness is also perfect. This is a 1080p LCD. So I usually play Dota 2 and so far so good. I haven't noticed any input lag on this thing able to play normally without any problems and there is also no image smearing so i think this uh, tv project is quite successful you can see as the as the image is moving on the tv there is absolutely no smearing at all so i've been testing a couple of games on this tv and so far so good i haven't noticed any input lag I was playing Counter-Strike GO online a few minutes ago. This is just a bot match. But as you can see, there is absolutely no input lag at all. And I think the lag problem is more prominent on cheap ass TVs. I've seen a brand new TCL 4K TV having almost one second input lag. And I think one of the reasons why there is input lag on cheap ass TVs is because manufacturers try to save on their costs and they'll use a slower audio video decoder which causes lag between the video signal from your PC to your TV. Which is not an issue if you're watching a movie or something but if you're playing a fast paced game like Counter Strike Go or Dota 2 you're gonna have some serious problems. As you can see there is absolutely no input lag problem on the Sony TV. So if you want a good quality TV, go for reputed brands like Sony, LG and Samsung. And the picture quality is also top notch. As you can see, if I bring the camera up close. Very sharp text. And yes, this is running in 1080p. 1080p, 60Hz, all the settings are turned up to max almost 120 fps so this is the monitor that i used with my pc and if i bring you guys close you will be able to see a dead pixel over here so right over here there is a dead pixel which is quite bright uh, compared to the rest of the screen and i've tried everything to fix this i tried different images tried pressing it but yeah this thing won't go away so i figured i use my old television since we have a new one so here we are guys taking a look at the backside of our TV and here we can see there are several different ports that you can input your signal into. So here we have the RCA ports, we don't need this. So our main focus is on these two, these are the HDMI ports and there's also a PC VGA in which we are not going to use because my computer does not have a VGA out and VGA out is slowly fading away and I don't recommend that you use a VGA cable. So this is my new TV, this is an LG 4K television and this one also does not have any VGA input. So like I said, VGA is becoming obsolete and HDMI will be the de facto standard in future televisions and computers. And all you need to do is locate this HDMI port on your desktop or your laptop computer. Grab the HDMI cable and plug one side of it in your computer and the other side in your TV just like this it is as easy as that and just so you guys know this single HDMI cable also carries with it the sound signal so you don't need to plug in anything else over here in the TV to listen to the sound 
uh, which is coming from the computer and if you have connected a separate sound system to your computer like this home theater system over here you will be able to configure the sound output directly from the windows operating system so let me try and demonstrate to you guys why i prefer using the hdmi video out rather than using the traditional analog video output on a computer and for this demonstration i will be using an older laptop as you can see over here this is because newer laptops and newer desktops don't even come with a vga out so right now you can see i have connected the tv through the VGA out and this VGA cable is going into this PC input of the TV and this is set to 1080p just so you know so you can see how the text is like especially take note over here and this is in 1080p so just so you know so now what I'm going to do is unplug the VGA and I'm going to plug in the HDMI and you guys will see the difference so we've got to change the input on the TV this is so much clearer take a look over here and this is why I prefer using the newer HDMI standard which is in digital and also carries a sound signal rather than using this decades old VGA standard so when you first connect your TV and boot your computer up you'll notice that everything is huge especially look at this taskbar and if I open the stop menu you can see how big everything is even though the uh, uh, resolution is set to 1080p this is because a custom scaling factor has been set automatically by Windows. So to fix that, you'll need to right click on the desktop and go to display settings. And here you can see 150% is set as default. Set it to 100% and everything will become normal once again. You can see our resolution is set to 1080p. So here's a document so you guys can see how clear the image is by the way these horizontal lines do not appear in real life it is just this uh, camera which is causing this so if i bring in the camera close here you can see everything is sharp and clear absolutely no problems and because this is a 1080p tv uh, you'll be able to see the pixels at this level of close-up so lastly i want to go over a few problems that i faced when i connected the tv to the computer for the first time so first off you can see the edges of the screen are getting cropped you can see there is no taskbar there are no icons and this can be easily fixed you need to go to settings and go to screen and set the wide mode to full now you can see the entire desktop is visible without any cropping i think this tv was set to wide zoom as default and you need to turn off any additional settings like auto wide turn off auto display area and you need to set the display area to full pixel so that you're able to see all of the pixels on the screen and you need to set the scene mode to game because this reduces the amount of input lag uh, input lag is when you press the key on the keyboard and you see a reaction on the screen while playing a game so if you set the scene mode to game this will reduce the amount of input lag so guys i hope this video helps you out and do stay tuned for more videos like these and i'll see you guys next time